This old Rotel RA840 came in with the turntable input not working. Looking inside it, we've got a big long PCB, which has got the left and right power amp on it, the big caps. These big capacitors there are the uh, main sleeving capacitors. Right over the far side here, we've got some op amps, um, 5534s, which are the single package op amps. They are for the, um, the turntable input. The logical place to start with something like this is the power supplies. So we've got we've got minus thirty nine point six on that one, and we've got plus thirty nine point six on that one. So the the thirty nine point six is the main supply. So then the um, the op amps are powered um, via these transistors. So there's a little separate power supply going on in, uh, around these, these capacitors and there's a chain of diodes down there that should produce about 20 volts. So on this one we've got uh, 20 volts on there, plus 20 volts. And on this one we've got minus 1.4. And also if you look, if you notice, well you probably can't see it from here, but this resistor here looks like it's got a bit of a burn mark in it. Um, so there's a lot of current going through it. it doesn't, it's not open circuit though, so the next thing to check is these diodes down here. What I found was this, this Zeno diode there was short circuit. So replacing the Zeno, Zeno brought it back to life. Then over on this side also the, um, the power LED wasn't working and that was down to um, this resistor down there had actually gone open circuit. The Rotel lives another day. So, I uh, hope you found that interesting and uh, please follow the channel, the Orange Valley Systems YouTube channel, for more videos. Thank you.